go. Oh, I wanted to record this. Thank you all for joining us this evening to celebrate our 2020 Alumni Association Award recipients. Now I know it's 2021, but we're celebrating our 2020 winners today, and we'll come together again in the fall to celebrate our 2021 winners. So as I mentioned yesterday during our virtual reunion convocation, we're all genuinely sorry that it wasn't possible for this gathering to take place on campus, but I'm so pleased that you're joining us for this special event. Each year, the Alumni Association honors graduates who exemplify outstanding achievement in their careers, communities, or through service to the college. Several of these awards have been named for some exceptional alumni who continued to serve Whitman College as staff members. Gordon Scribner, class of 42, who served as Director of Financial Aid and Associate Director of Admissions, Dean of Students, and Director of Alumni. Sally Rogers, class of 74, former Director of Alumni. And Pete Reed, class of 49, former treasurer, longtime leader of the Whitman Farm Committee and advisor to several presidents, including me. One of the great privileges of my position is meeting our graduates and seeing what they've gone on to do in their communities and around the world, each armed with the foundational skills built here at Whitman. Whitman is known as a college that changes lives and our alumni prove that every day. From building coalitions for environmental policy, to preserving the historic properties and places of the Walla Walla Valley, from offering invaluable advice and experience to students, to tackling the biggest issues facing cities today, from engaging alumni across generations to ensuring safe elections on the other side of the world. Those who are honored here today join a long line of Whitman alumni who have affected positive change in their communities, here at Whitman, and reaching to the furthest corners of our world. Congratulations to our 2020 award winners on the well-deserved honor. And now it's my pleasure to turn the program over to Alumni Association Board President, Dennis McNair, class of 1967, who will present our first award. Thank you, Kathy. Uh, each year, the Alumni Association presents awards in five categories. We're missing one of our award winners this evening, but there's a pretty good reason for that, which I will mention shortly. The Pete Reed Award, for young alumni given by the Alumni Association to someone whose youthful exuberance is demonstrated toward his or her career, community, and Whitman College is exemplified by Pete Reed, 49, and his service to the college. We lost Pete in 2017, but I'm pleased to say I knew him. I knew him for many years. I had the opportunity to visit him shortly before he passed away, where he and his beloved wife, Hedda, were being cared for in the Oddfellows home in Walla Walla. Uh, Pete was a witty to the core, and when I went to visit him, he was wearing a gray Whitman basketball sweatshirt. Our 2020 recipient of the Pete Reed Award for Young Alumni is Camilla Thorndike, class of 2010. Camilla Thorndike is, is a recognized community mobilizer and environmental advocate. After graduating from Whitman Cum Laude in environmental humanities, she worked for the U.S. Institute for Environmental Conflict Resolution, directed outreach for the Regional Urban Planning Project in Arizona, and spearheaded public engagement for a musical theater performance about fossil fuels. She earned her master's degree in public administration from the, Har the Harvard Kennedy School. And the reason she isn't joining us today, she's currently leading Senator Bernie Sanders' climate, energy, environment, and infrastructure, infrastructure portfolio. And her plate is just a little full. Camilla's creative and effective methods of building con coalitions around environmental issues together with her correction, connections with current environmental study students have earned her this award. Each alumni award winner received a beautiful certificate hand lettered here in Walla Walla by alumna Jean McEn McMenemy 
class of 1971. Camilla's award reads, Camilla Thorndike, coalition builder, community mobilizer, climate advocate, for your devotion to environmental causes, for your dedication to making the political process work, for promoting science-based climate policy through creative civil, civic engagement, we present you with the 2020 Pete Reed Award for Young Alumni. Now I'd like to introduce Evan Jones, class of 1997, Vice President of the Alumni Board, to present the next award. Thank you, Dennis. It's a pleasure to be with you this evening. Our next award is a Gordon Scribner Award for Distinguished Service. This award was created to honor Gordon Scribner, class of 1942, who served as Director of Financial Aid and Associate Director of Admissions, Dean of Students, and Director of Alumni. It is given to an individual who has made major contribution of volunteer time and effort to Whitman College over an extended period of time and possesses the ability to, ability to inspire. Our 2020 recipient of the Gordon Scribner Award is Greg Brown, class of 1970. Greg Brown is committed to providing access, guidance, and support to students interested and pursuing professions in the healthcare field. A retired physician, Greg is a champion of the Campus Health Professions Advising Office and has been instrumental in creating engaging learning opportunities beyond the classroom to help students expand their knowledge and make connections with other healthcare professionals. Additionally, Greg is an active board member of the Blue Mountain Land Trust and engages Whitman students in a range of conservation efforts. Together with his wife, his wife Linda Wyman Brown, class of 69, he support, supports education programs at the Lewa Wildlife Conservancy in Kenya and scholarships at Whitman for students from Kenya. His award reads, Greg Brown, healer, teacher, restorer, for stitching together student learning and real life experience, for prescribing the best learning opportunities beyond the classroom, for maintaining the health of Blue Mountain Trails and providing life support to Kenyan students at home and at Whitman. We present you with the 2020 Gordon Scribner Award for Distinguished Service. Thank you, Evan. Uh, it is a particular uh, uh, wonderful piece to have Gordon Scribner Award uh, because Gordon was the first person I met on the Whitman campus when I interviewed here in 1965 with my mother and my two brothers. And then I had the pleasure of knowing him throughout my career, uh, years at Whitman uh, and ended up uh, right after I graduated from Whitman actually painting his house. So I, I stayed close to, to Gordon uh, for many, many years after that. Um, and I would say that um, Whitman uh, encouraged me to stay connected to the campus in many, many ways, uh, uh, particularly more recently with the Whitman pre-health students. Uh, I, I work with uh, Kim Fuller uh, and advising the students and we do an annual suture clinic uh, and about uh, 30 students come uh, each year to learn how to do suture eyes and uh, needles and uh, they either learn that they, they can be a surgeon or they probably should be a dermatologist. So, but it's a wonderful experience and fun to do. My experience in, in PAC in the mountains with the blues crew and the trail work, uh, I contribute uh, uh, tribute to uh, uh, my professor of biology, Ken Anderson, and my professor of geology, Dick Clem, who uh, were passionate and supportive mentors in getting me into the Blue Mountains uh, during my career at Whitman. And then more recently, my wife, Linda, and I have been in and out of Kenya for the last 16 years and had the pleasure of meeting another Whitman student, uh, Wanjero. Uh, Camus Rothenberg uh, in Nairobi, uh, and she introduced us to uh, Kili Gata, which is a wonderful program in Kenya that uh, supports uh, young women uh, uh, in Kenya, and uh, we have supported uh, those uh, young women coming to Whitman. So 
again, um, thank you so much. And I, I, I'm fairly gratified by this work. Thank you, Greg. Our next award is the Sally Rogers Award for Lifelong Achievement. This award was created in 1999 to honor Sally Rogers, 74, longtime director of alumni relations. This award is given to an individual who graduated from Whitman College over 50 years ago and whose life exemplifies the qualities of a liberal arts education. The 2020 recipient of the Sally Rogers Award for Lifelong Achievement is Dan Clark, class of 1965. I met Dan when I was just a slip of a boy growing up in the little farming town of Dayton, Washington, 30 miles north of Walla Walla. Dan was, I was an aspiring trumpet player and Dan was from Walla Walla. He was a couple of years older than me uh, much more accomplished, and even at that time showed very strong character. Uh, coming from Walla Walla, he was my ideal of an urban sophisticate. Dan spent a career practicing law and pursuing his interests in human rights, criminal justice, diversity, and equality through advocacy for communities and individuals. He served as a co-founder and leader of numerous organizations in, the Wall in Walla Walla and beyond, including Peace Brigades International, a global human rights organization committed to the nonviolent conflict resolution, Denver Conciliation Services, a pioneering mediation project, and Walla Walla 2020, working to preserve and enhance our area's quality of life. Dan is particularly known for his work promoting historic preservation and has published 17 books on a variety of subjects, including activism and local history, as well as contra dancing, which he has long enjoyed calling and participating in with his wife, Barbara. Dan's award reads, Dan Clark, 65, historian, activist, leader for working towards peace, justice, diversity, and equality, for serving as a steward of buildings, homes, and historic sites of Walla Walla, for bringing the history of the Valley to life through historical portrayal and exploration. We present you with the 2020 Sally Rogers Award for Lifelong Achievement and my personal respect. Thank you, Dennis. I remember you as a young Dayton uh, uh, Pilgrim Fellowship member at the Congregational Church there when our Congregational Church group from Walla Walla went to, uh, to have an exchange. I also remember you as a uh, member of the Beta House, a very conscientious member, and that wasn't always the case with, uh, with all the members, but uh, uh, I'd I like to see you again. I'm glad to uh, be able to touch base with you. And I'm really glad to have had a relationship with Whitman College throughout my life, beginning as a young Walla Walla boy, uh, attending Whitman sports events with my dad, who was a Whitman athletic supporter, and then as a student here in the early 60s, and finally as a community member and neighbor of the college. Um, Whitman's, my relationship with, with Whitman has been one of the most fruitful and satisfying of my life. I appreciate relations with faculty members uh, uh, throughout my life, particularly now uh, when they're not giving me grades uh, and with staff, with students and with alumni. So I uh, wish Whitman College uh, great success in the future for enriching the lives of other students and others who are associated with the college. And I hope that continues for many, many years. Thank you, Whitman College, and good luck. Thank you, Dan. The Whitman College Alumni Association Faculty Award for Service is given yearly to a faculty member.
who has distinguished themselves in service to the Alumni Association. Our 2020 recipient of the Faculty Award for Service is Michelle Janning, Raymond and Nelsie DeBerg, Chair of Social Science and Professor of Sociology. Since we started at Whitman in 2000, Michelle has lent her extensive knowledge of families and intimate relationships, homes and design, inequalities, education, community-based projects, Scandinavian life, social science research methods, and popular culture to numerous audiences gathered for alumni lectures, reunion presentations, and social gatherings. She is a strong supporter of our efforts to connect current students with alumni, meeting with alumni from Minneapolis to Seattle to Austin, Texas, to share research as well as campus news. True to her hospitable Midwest roots, she graciously hosts the sociology department open house at her home each year during reunion weekend, bringing together generations of alumni to exchange versions of their own ex women experience. Her service on the renovation committee for Baker Faculty, or Baker Center, was instrumental in keeping the design elements true to the era of the house and creating a welcoming environment for alumni returning to campus. The award reads, Michelle Janning, professor, author, social science storyteller, for showing the academic value of the everyday, for sharing your eye for design, both theoretically and practically, for shedding scholarly light on the seemingly incomprehensible. We present you with the 2020 Faculty Award for Service. Thank you very much. I'm really honored to be in the presence of the other folks who are on this uh, Zoom call and honored to have gotten the award and really grateful for the beautiful calligraphy plaque as well. Um, one of the things I can say is that my career and my family life has been enriched and nurtured tremendously by virtue of the fact that I am part of the Whitman community and am part of the community that includes alumni. One of the things I'm constantly working on is improving and enhancing my pedagogy, I'm always trying to access the newest and latest information as a social scientist, that's crucial. And it's become apparent to me that the alumni network at Whitman has proved one of the most useful resources for my pedagogy, not just to link current students with former students for career resources, but to have a community of people who share their ideas and the ways they've approached the world as lifelong learners, as models for our students, sometimes even including things they've published or presented that I can include in my coursework. So I'm, as a teacher um, and as somebody who constantly works with current students, I'm really grateful to all Whitman students, past and present um, and future uh, for, this, uh, for this award. Thank you all. Thank you, Michelle. The Alumni of Merit Award, the highest honor the Alumni Association bestows on a graduate of Whitman College, is given to alumni who have achieved distinction in their chosen field or rendered outstanding service to their community or rendered outstanding service to and demonstrated loyal interest in Whitman College. When the Alumni Board deliberated over our 2020 nominees, we were unable to choose so we opted to give two awards. The first a recipient of the 2020 Alumna of Merit Award is Deborah Kafori, class of 1989. And in keeping with my prior presentations, Deborah, I have to tell you, I knew your father, Steve. He was a student leader at Whitman when I was there. He was a fine student and he was a fine man. And I'm sure he's very, very proud of you this evening. Multnomah County Chair Deborah Kafori has long propelled innovative solutions to the region's most pressing issues. Since February of 2020, she's led an unprecedented response to the COVID-19 pandemic, overseeing Oregon's largest county health department declaring the state's first eviction moratorium and promoting measures that became statewide policy and public health initiatives. She spent more than a decade at Multnomah County working to end homelessness, 
economic disparities and gaps in the behavioral health system. Following her parents' civic careers, Stephen Kafori, class of 1964, and the late Gretchen Miller Kafori, class of 1963, Deborah began her public service in the Oregon House of Representatives. She was elected to the Multnomah County Commission in 2008, elected Multnomah County Chair in 2014, and re-elected in May of 2018 for a second term. Deborah's award reads, Deborah Kafori, lifelong public servant, compassionate advocate, innovative solution seeker for investing in affordable housing while seeking an end to homelessness, for creating both assistance and opportunity for Portland's underserved communities, for continuing a family tradition of service and activism. We present you with the 2020 Alumna of Merit Award. Thank you so much. It is really an honor to be here with all of you tonight. <laughs> and um, during the pandemic, when I got the notice that I got this award, I was overcome with emotion, kind of like I am right now, because it was such a difficult time. And to know that the college that I love so much was acknowledging me and my work I mean, literally, I would not be here were it not for Whitman College, as you just heard. My parents both went to school at, at Whitman, as well as um, my grandmother as well. So I owe so much gratitude to all of, to the, my education there. And I just have to say, I know we weren't having a reunion in person this year, but I'm here celebrating. Yeah. With, yeah. Here in Walla Walla, celebrating with the class of 1989, because we couldn't turn down a chance to get together in our favorite town of Walla Walla. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Deborah, and congratulations. Our second Alumnus of Merit Award winner is Gary Davis, class of 1960. Gary Davis has devoted his life to global development, building relationships with communities across the world, and working with local leaders to address critical humanitarian issues and promote change. Gary served as an Asia Africa Fellow of the Maxwell School of Public Administration at Syracuse University, traveling to the British Protectorate of Basutuland, now Basuto, in Southern Africa to assist in the formation of cooperatives for rural farmers. He was recruited to stay and help set up the elections that led to the country's independence. Gary joined the staff of the Peace Corps in 1968. For four years, he served in leadership positions in Swaziland and Cameroon. He joined the United Nations Development Program, UNDP, in 1973, serving posts in Kenya, Tanzania, Ghana, Senegal, Mauritania, Swaziland, and New York. Later in his career, Gary worked for the UN in Italy, providing high-level training for senior UN officials and rounded out his di diplomatic efforts in Zambia until his retirement in 1998. He has continued consultant work even in his post-retirement life, serving the UNDP in Kazakhstan, Armenia, Cambodia, Russia, and Latvia, and for the Belgian government in Palestine. He credits Whitman for being his launching pad. The award reads, Gary Davis, lifelong learner, international community builder, diplomatic agent of change. For championing decolonization and self-determination self around the world, for working to eradicate poverty and create sustainable progress, for promoting peace, development, human rights, and environmental sustainability. We present you with the 2020 Alumnus of Merit Award. Evan, thank you so much for that introduction. Um, I'm truly honored by this award and profoundly grateful for the launch that my Whitman education <laughs> provided me so many years ago. <laughs> An education that launched me on a life path that has uh, proven to be one of great adventure and great fulfillment, working in international development, 
uh, initially on a Ford Foundation grant and with the staff of the Peace Corps, and most importantly for 25 years as an official of the, the United Nations Development Program, uh, living and working in Africa, Europe, and New York, traveling to over 90 countries, experiencing firsthand the oneness of humankind and the diversity of this wonderful world. When I think back about my experience at Whitman, I remember most fondly my, my interactions with my professors in their classes, their classrooms, uh, in, their, in their homes, and once in a while at the Green Lantern. <laughs> I, hope the, I hope the Green Lantern is still there. <laughs> To their uh, great credit, <laughs> they ignited in me a lifelong curiosity about ideas and about the broader world. <clears throat> and Whitman instilled in me an appreciation for the interrelationships of different fields of knowledge and for the importance of, of lifelong, uh, a wide reading, lifelong. And these lessons stayed with me for the rest of my life and helped me develop the flexibility and the openness, which were quite necessary for uh, me to live and work in over a dozen countries in developing and managing aid programs and projects in every conceivable field, ranging from uh, basic village level development in a country like Cameroon to geothermal development in a country like uh, Kenya. Um, one of my professors at Whitman uh, uh, evidently had uh, some notion that they had succeeded in launching me because at a party at Professor, Professor Fluno's uh, house just before graduation, he remarked to me, Davis, you know, I think you might go someplace, implying that, of course, he had changed his opinion about me and little realizing uh, how profound that prediction was, at least in a geographical sense, because three short years later, I found myself working in my first international assignment in Southern Africa at the exact antipode of Walla Walla, Washington. <laughs> I believe that what my experience shows is <clears throat> by giving us the gift, both the desire and the skills to be lifelong learners. Whitman, uh, has provided us the necessary basis to go anywhere and build, and build successful careers. I also believe that this capacity to experience the broader picture is more important than ever in today's very complex and technologically driven world. So <clears throat> once again, I wanna thank you very much for this award and thank you Whitman for that education. <laughs> Thank you so very much, Gary. Would you all please join me in congratulating all of our alumni award winners. Thank you, President Murray, all our award winners, and to all of you for joining us today.